here it is, the lovely Asclepius lanceolata, also is cool. known as few flowered milkweed. Um, although it's got it has, a few flowers. It's got a few flowers, it's, and it's a great example. We're literally standing in water here of the varied habitats of our native milkweed species. Yeah. Other milkweeds we've found have been mainly in like high dry conditions or along the side of roads. I don't think I've ever seen one growing in standing water. So what's this doing here? Well, we have several species of native milkweed that do occur in literally in water, but they all occur in habitats that are either mowed or burned. And you're finding it here in the longleaf pineland habitat because it's burned just yeah, like it is supposed to be. And you can see that, yeah, here in the tree. So the but fire even gets down into the, I mean, there's even water. Even in though. the wet areas. Really? And it's critical for those areas because it has to cleanse the habitat of competing herbaceous plants. And you find them on roadsides because the mowing that we do on roadsides actually mimics those fires. It takes out all of those competing hardwood trees and shrubs that would eventually grow up and shade out these species. A lot of these plants that are becoming more and more rare because of fire exclusion from habitat are just hanging on on roadsides. That's crazy. Which is super cool, but super depressing too. I've been hearing a lot about milkweeds like in the news lately. Why, I mean, you manage a nursery. Why, why are milkweeds such a, you know, buzzword right now? Yeah, well, they're critical because they're the only larval food host for the monarch butterfly. The female butterflies can smell the toxins in the milkweed, cardiac glycosides, and they can smell them for a ways away. They track them and then they come and lay their eggs on them. And then the caterpillars hatch and eat the milkweed plant and they can't eat anything else. So if the caterpillar runs out of enough milkweed in the area, it dies if it hasn't completed its cycle. You know, the monarch butterfly is super special because it's the only butterfly that migrates from South America up into North America just to eat our milkweed species. And then it migrates back down to Mexico for the winter. Wow, it's so neat to know that we have so many species here and that some tropical butterfly comes here just for this. I mean, they are pretty. Yeah. They are pretty cool plants. Yeah, super neat and super important. Yeah, that's awesome. This segment brought to you by the Magnolia Chapter of the Florida Native Plant Society. To learn more about the work it's doing to promote the preservation, conservation, and restoration of the native plants and native plant communities in Florida, visit magnolia.fnpschapters.org.